are very proud to have here Michael Klukowski of Poland and of Switzerland, um, currently most successful player in the world. Welcome, Michael. Uh, hi, Jan. Hello, everyone. And uh, I would like to thank you very much for this nice introduction. When and how did you learn bridge? Uh, I learned it at the age of 10. Uh, both of my parents are bridge players. So this is how I was introduced to the game. Otherwise, I don't think I would have a chance. But I was, I was, that, I was so lucky that, 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 as I said, my parents are bridge players. But now, now they don't play anymore. So uh, someone has to fight for a family honor. Yes, talking about family, um, some people think that your grandfather was the famous uh, Polish bridge player, Julian Klukowski. But that's not com the complete story, is it? Uh, the truth is that he was a great player. Ah. The false is that uh, it's my family. I have nothing in common with him, or at least I don't know about it. I don't know nothing about it. You already um, played quite serious bridge at, at a young age. I think you were already a member of the Polish junior team when you were 15. That's correct. Um, how did they discover you? Or did you go to a club? Uh, in, Poland, in Poland, we don't have bridge clubs at all. We, we have many tournaments and also many many tournaments for for the young people we have many many categories for the young people before uh, ebl and the wbf started to organize some under 15 championships uh we were doing it in poland we we have been doing it in poland so so I I had a chance to 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 show myself. Let's let's put it this way, to to participate with some other people of my age and to get some good results and to to be discovered. Also, I was attending many tournaments for the the, the open tournaments for for, for 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 open for all the people, because again because of my parents who were attending. Uh, who are attending them also. Apparently you played a lot of bridge at a young age already because you must have fallen in love with the game. But did you also finish your school and did you have special plans with university perhaps or not at all? Uh, I have finished uh, high school at the age of uh, 19. This is how it works in Poland that you finish high school at the age of 19. But then, then I, I didn't even try to study, uh, to study anything. Yeah, but I, I, same I, I was, I was, I was, I was much into bridge already because it was 2015, just before the Bermuda Bowl thing in Chennai, and already after the Sanya. So just decided to play bridge and see what happens then. Well, a lot of things now, happen because, yeah, at, at the now, same now, age of 19, you won your first Bermuda ball. And it was even, you were a younger player than uh, Bobby Levin, who by, by then was the, the youngest true. And, player who ever won Bermuda ball. Just a month before the Bermuda ball, it was a decision time whether I, I go for some studies or no, and I decided not to. And I remember uh, when, when, when it was in Chennai when you won the Bermuda Bowl, and in fact, uh, you you played there with Piotr Gavris, and you were not even scheduled for the Polish team to play there, but you um, you replaced there Balicki Smutsinski, I think. That's for that's some reason. That's all true. That's yeah. all true. So I got a sign from the life and decided not to go to start to any studies yeah later yeah. on also i'm la you know i'm lazy by not by nature so these days currently even if i would 
if, if I would like to study anything, if I wouldn't be so lazy, I don't know really if it would be possible for me. Yeah. To manage. But, but now we come to an interesting point because um, you say you're lazy, but uh, to become really uh, very successful in bridge, you have to, to work on your bidding system, I suppose. Or can you explain me a little bit? Do, do you put a lot of effort in, in systems, in bidding systems, or are you just a natural player? We do, a, we do, we do put a fort, but I must definitely admit that I, me and my partner, we rather prefer to talk, to trying to work on some common view, common point, common understanding of the game rather than to blindly agree on some new conventions so th th this is this is the way of working we we we, we prefer we we rather choose uh, but 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 also i i said i'm lazy by nature but but i meant it in general way when when i'm passionate about something and i definitely am about bridge then 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 I'm def then I definitely wouldn't say about myself that I'm lazy. Yes. So but coming back to the systems, um, what what system do you play, gen generally speaking? Uh, of course, Polish club. Uh, you know, I've never played any other system than Polish club, and I, of course, after so many years after so many international tournaments i am familiar with other systems natural systems yeah i suppose you know quite a bit about other systems as well like two over one i mean polish club Correct. is also and two what, over one what yes the polish club is also two over, kind of two over one but yeah. uh, my point is that uh as long as uh, as i will be able to play polish club to have a partner who likes to play Polish club, I I I definitely don't 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 have any plans to to change it. Yes, I I like it. It for it works for me very well, so I'm I'm satisfied. Yes, with it. By the way, uh, you mentioned partners. Who are your partners nowadays? Your great uh, so my main my main partner is of course uh, Piotr Gavrish mentioned before but by you. Uh, we started to play together, I think, in late 2013. Uh, Justyna Muda and uh, also Piotr Zatorski, a good friend of mine and also a very good bridge player. And but recently also because of the of the pandemic. Think I started to play with with Piatek Kalita a lot online, which probably wouldn't have happened uh, if 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 pandemic wouldn't have wouldn't have. Yeah, come. I play with him the, the 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 most important competitions, and we together we play in the Zimmerman team. And but I also have some other partners I play with occasionally. Uh, one of the partners is, of course, my wife. These four, these four are your regular partners. But the regular interesting... partners and main, yeah. main is main, main out of them is is is, is Piotr Gavrich. So, Michael, my my final question is about Switzerland, which is your new kind of home country. Um, how did you come there in Switzerland? What does a Paul has to look for in Switzerland? Uh, Paul is looking to play for a Switzerland team to represent it uh, worldwide and to hopefully get some trophies for the new country. And of course, uh, it wouldn't have happened if, if, if me and Piotr, if we wouldn't play in a Pierre Timmermans team. You, you really have bad luck, like, like millions of us, of course, with, with the pandemic, because almost um, you were there, then the pandemic uh, conquered the world. 
and you have no chance to to really play championships uh, for Switzerland. But still, um, do you live there actually? Because now you're we are recording from your home in in Poland, I think. Uh, we 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 haven't had a chance yet, but we are officially a national team since we be, before the pandemic starts. We won the trials for the European Championship. So the Swiss so trials. We, we might it's Swiss trials. So we might say we might say yes. We are we are a little unlucky not to be able to play for our new country but hopefully soon to come and about living well now in this pandemic times i would say i live both in switzerland and in poland uh, but i i suppose as soon as it's over the weight will move into the switzerland side Yes. Uh, things, if, if, before the pandemic starts, the, the weight was already moved there. We, we have a lot of, we have played a lot of tournaments there already, including trials I mentioned about. Uh, also, we have great apartments in the center of Geneva. So, yes, like a short drink and bus driver. Yeah. yeah. You're living close Correct. to them? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Very close. We are, we can say we are in the same building. Yeah. So, Almost okay. In the same. My final I'm, question for, for this chapter is uh, what do you think about online bridge? I don't think it's, it's the same as, as real bridge, and it will never be. Uh, speaking for myself, I, I can say that I got used to it, as most of the players, I think. In the beginning, it was difficult for everybody. Now, after a year, I think, as I said, everybody got used to it. And also, I must admit, I noticed that in 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 last few months, it became way better if it comes if it comes to the cleaning less of the game. Uh, in 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 few in first few tournaments, it was very difficult for me and my partner to score a, a plus butler. That I I can see the significant win what it was and what it is now, and also because of that, I think. I like it much more now than I used to. It helped. It helps. It it helps to get used to the online bridge. The fact that it the, the game becomes be, became cleaner. Uh, thank you so far. In the second part uh, of this interview, we will uh, go into some hands, which you some very interesting hands, I think, which you played for the Alta Invitationals. Uh, and you will um, share your thoughts why you took certain, I have to admit, very successful decisions.